I'm Raina Morgan with iHealth2, visiting with Dr. Cheryl Selman. We're talking about women's health, and one of the things I read recently was about the thyroid, and that as many as 25 million people may have thyroid issues. Well, in fact, it does seem to be that we have an epidemic of thyroid issues, and predominantly it's a hypothyroid problem. It can be a sluggish thyroid, it can be uh, a condition called um, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which is an autoimmune problem that results in also a sluggish thyroid or hyperthyroidism. Now, the thyroid regulates the metabolism of the body. So it plays a vital role in how much oxygen the cells absorb, how much energy the cells have access to. It's a pretty important hormone, actually, an important gland. So we really want to um, support our thyroid. When we are hypothyroid, and I actually have been hypothyroid, so I really understand this very personally. Mm -hmm. So we have a sluggish thyroid and our metabolism is low. The symptoms are, and you can have some or, or, or all, Leva. Okay. You can have uh, weight gain that no amount of dieting will ever lose. So mm -hmm. you start putting the weight on. And thyroid people generally put weight on around the hips. They get that pear-shaped. So that's they a sign do. of a thyroid issue. So it's around the hips, hips, What about thighs. the middle? That's more um, uh, the result of adrenal issues and okay. high stress from cortisol, too much cortisol. Right. The apple shape is more cortisol, mm -hmm. and the hip, hippie pear shape is more thyroid, right. generally speaking. So also, uh, people who have great sensitivity to the cold, their hands mm -hmm. and their feet get really cold. You may even get white, you know, mm -hmm. you lose circulation in the tips of your fingers. Um, that is a sign of a hypothyroid problem. Depression is hypothyroidism. Uh, lack of memory is hypothyroidism. Your hair loss, when you start thinning your hair, your hair starts falling out, and even the outer part of your eyebrows start thinning. That's a sign of hypothyroidism. Also, dry skin and mm. constipation is a sign of hypothyroidism. In my experience, most hormonal issues, be it menopausal symptoms, infertility, fibroids, endometriosis, even PMS, are associated with a hypothyroid condition. Now, not all blood tests will actually show you if you're hypothyroid. That's what I was going to ask you. You know, yes. often women get their blood tests done and, and they the doctor looks at it and goes well you're oh you're okay because mm -hmm. you're in normal range it may be the lower end of normal but you're normal but lower end of normal is not necessarily normal so anything over 2.0 is considered hypothyroid but many doctors say higher values are safe mm -hmm. so we need to understand that number one also blood tests may not reveal the whole story that's going on that's contributing to a hypothyroid problem so you really need to be doing a little test of your own. Okay. And that's called your checking, your checking your basal temperature. And you get a thermometer, you get the digital thermometer, right. and you put it under your arm okay. before you get up in the morning. You're, you, you awake, but you don't get out of bed, you don't start moving around, you don't start increasing your metabolism. Mm -hmm. You just lie there and you take your underarm temperature. And that should be at least 97.6, unless when you're ovulating, and then it goes up a degree. Okay. So if you chart, you know, this is what women do to chart their cycle so they mm -hmm. can conceive or, or not conceive, whatever their choice is. But it also is a way to see what your metabolism is doing. And if you are consistently less than 97.6, that's a very powerful indicator that you have a thyroid problem. Really? And you do this for how long? You take the, a digital thermometer? That'll yep. work? Yep. And, you know, when it reaches its maximum temperature, it'll beep, mm -hmm. unlike the mercury thermometer. Mm -hmm. And you would do this, uh, you know, I, I think it's great to chart it for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. And I have all my patients chart their, their temperature because it's a very powerful indicator of thyroid and can show a problem when your blood tests say everything is normal. normal right. Okay. So... So uh, what we want to be able to do, if we have the signs and indication that our thyroid is a problem, mm -hmm. we really need to start supporting the body and getting that thyroid to rev up again because that's how we will lose weight. That's okay. how we'll lift our depression. That's how we'll help resolve hormonal issues. So here are some ways to okay, start great. to look how to do that. Progesterone, by the way, is a hormone that helps to increase metabolism. So it may be beneficial to use some natural progesterone cream. 
But the thyroid also has certain requirements. It's the gland that requires the greatest amount of iodine. Hmm. So we need some iodine minerals. So you can get that from eating seaweed, which is a very high source mm -hmm. of iodine, or you may need to get some iodine supplementation. Okay. Okay, because you really need the iodine for the thyroid. Uh, the thyroid also needs other minerals. It requires selenium. We, mm. It requires magnesium. It requires vitamin A. So these are very powerful vitamins and minerals. Um, maca, which is a Peruvian uh, herb, it's actually a cruciferous vegetable. It's a root that gets mm -hmm. dried. That helps to stimulate thyroid. Um, coconut oil okay. is known to help stimulate metabolism. So using some coconut oil in your diet mm -hmm. is really very helpful. Exercise, by the way, is really important sure. to rev up your metabolism. But we really want to support our thyroid with proper nutrition, mm -hmm. uh, proper, uh, prop, you know, eating properly, not missing meals. Uh, when we fast a lot, when we, when we diet a lot, we are actually telling the body we're starving and the metabolism will slow down to help pr preserve mm -hmm. our energy. So that can permanently affect thyroid function as well. So we really want to get healthy with a healthy diet and proper supplements and, and lifestyle factors. So that the dieting gives the body the message to conserve fat because there's not enough food intake. And that can really turn off the thyroid or certainly slow it down and make it uh, you know, more of a hypothyroid condition. Well, thank you, Dr. Solomon, for visiting with us about that. You're welcome.